Thank you. Good evening. I'm honored to be here tonight. And before I get started in my speech, they always say I'm one of the most celebrated Special Olympics athletes. That's not true. Each and every one of these 1,600 athletes and 3.7 million athletes are celebrated athletes of Special Olympics. I am just one person. There are a million, millions of people stories are just like mine. And they happen to be people first with an intellectual disability. I remember the days of when my mother was told Loretta will not be able to learn. I remember the days when I was told I would never be able to graduate from high school. I also remember the days when I was told I was worth nothing. But I knew deep in my heart I had God. But also, deep in my heart, God has opened doors for me with a program called Special Olympics. I'll never forget the first day in 1970. Yes, some of you weren't even born then. I know I'm old, but age is nothing but a way of thinking. But I can remember when I first went to Special Olympics, I was angry. I didn't think I would be worth two cents. But a coach told me, Loretta, you got to stop using your fists and use those feet more. You are beautiful. You can learn. You can do anything. And if I wouldn't have walked into that coach, I would probably be sitting in the institution today. I met a woman in 1972. Her name was Eunice Kennedy Shriver. She was like the grandmother I never had. And I'll never forget it, that blessing, when I was told, you can be anything you want to be if you just put an effort to it. Athletes, I saw you today after running that half mile in 95 degree weather. Never let nobody tell you what you can't do. You are successful. You do count. Tonight, I was in tears when I saw the young men from the ROTC walk through here, and there was athletes being in the ROTC. That was my dream. My dream was to go to college. My dream did not come reality to me, but I am so blessed, the same as Eunice Kennedy Shriver to see those dreams come reality to each and every one of you. I hear a young man today talking about he's going to graduate from school and he's going to go to college. Never, ever let nobody tell you what you can do. You know what Special Olympics told me what I could do? It's not what you can't do, Loretta, that counts. It's what you can do. So every time I step on that field, every time I hit that tennis racket, every time I throw that softball or kick that soccer ball, I think about what I can do. And if it wasn't for Special Olympics, I'd never become a fourth degree black belt. I'd never become a person to serve on the board of directors. I see athlete leadership here. The young man who sang with a beautiful voice, with the strength and the guts it took for him to do what he did, leadership skills. You have leadership skills, and today, it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Eunice Kennedy Shriver to take the aim for me and so many of you to be your best. That's the only thing she asks you to do. So, athletes, tomorrow when you compete, whether you get first, second, or third, or fourth, or fifth, just remember this. It's not how many medals you have, it's how many opportunities you have. Because each and every one of you sitting here, there's 100 people sitting at home. So when you get that ribbon, when you get that medal, I want you to know that you had done your best. And don't let nothing stop you. Don't let it rest until each and every one of you do your best. 
Athletes, I want you to take one minute and shake your coach's hand or say thank you to them or to that volunteer because they're the ones who brought you here. My last and final thing, to each and every one of you, athletes, coaches, volunteers, go out there and have a good time to be your best. If you know somebody who wants to coach, bring them into our world, the Special Olympics world, and you will do great. Eunice is up there smiling in heaven at each and every one of us. Thank you so much. May God bless and carry you through the games. Thank you. Goodbye. See you tomorrow at the games. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for your support. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Serving our athletes. Two million dollars. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? Thank you.